Hello, hello Jack. Hello Jill. And hello Catherine. So let's do a uh, set of the change classic to warm up and then we'll move on to move number three in the stick form, right? Um, Jack, you led us yesterday? Okay. Uh, Catherine, why don't you lead us? Actually, I was going to jump in and say, I think I think I, I, I'm going to try it today. If it's... Oh, you're going to try it. Okay, good. All right, then Jill, you do it. I think I remember it. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go.
Okay, very nice. That was a nice pace too, Jill. Not too fast, not too slow. That was very nice. Okay, uh, grab your sticks. Uh, let's uh, practice the first two moves of the form. Um, the first move, of course, we only do twice normally, but let's do it four times uh, just for the practice. So uh, we'll go around the room and everybody will leave, but um, I wanted to go over just a, a, a couple of points in that first move. I think I did these uh, before, but I'm not sure everybody heard it. And you know, it never hurt. It never hurts to hear it twice. When you're doing these, I'll just do the first move and then you can apply it to all the other moves uh, ahead. When you're doing this move, right, when you're coming up like this, you're in your back, you're in your dumai, right? So you come up the back, over the top of the head, and then down the front, under the crotch, and then up the back again. Down the front, under the crotch, up the back, over the head, down the front, under the crotch. So you're practicing the microcosmic orbit. 
Now in the, in the rest of the move, there's, uh, you're basically doing the same thing too. But there's a little addition on there, and let, let me uh, cut a couple pieces of, of my famous tape here. Okay, so this is the Tanjong in the middle of the chest. And this is the Dan Chen right underneath the navel. Right. And the back of the Dan Chen is a point called the Ming Mun, the gate of life. So uh, think of this as standing in for the back, actually. When you do this exercise, you have to pay attention to those two points. So when you are first coming up, you come up into the Tanjong, all right? And then you turn, and when you do this, you sink from the Tanjong to the Ming Mun and back. So you lift with the front of the chest, you turn, you drop into the lower back, and then you push with the lower back, all right? So, um, Try that when you when you lead, and this is another reason to go slowly. Just take your time to do this, you know? so you really can feel it. So you're coming and push. Right? Okay, uh, let's go, um, Catherine, Jack, and then Jill. Okay. No. Twice the first move, okay? Yeah.
Jack, before you, before you go on, I want to say something. Um, <clears throat> that was good, Catherine. When I was watching you, it looked to me like you were expressing something from the inside. The entire point of Qigong is to develop the inner body. We, we all have well-developed outer bodies, but to develop the inner body, which is a matter of recognition and then practice and development, uh, and then melding it with the outer body. So your physical body and your energy body are working together. Let me, let me show you something. Um, this, we're going to talk about this this weekend. But um, uh, say you're doing a Buddha's warrior, uh, pounds the mortar. Most people do it like this. And there's nothing wrong with that, all right? But it's how your mind is set. When you do this motion, look at this hand. Everybody watches this hand, but watch this hand, all right? I'm doing it the old way. Think about it. What are you doing? You're stretching something between those two hands. Now, you can not have any awareness of that, and you're just raising your hand. There's no connection between the hands. There's nothing going on the, on, on the inside that expresses that. But suppose you actually had to do that in real life. You know, you have to, oh, it's like there's, there's, there's a thick medium. All right? You have to pull. And then it snaps back, right? Oh, that's different. That's different than just doing than just doing it like this. When you don't understand what's going on on the inside, it's called empty Tai Chi or empty Qigong. When you do understand what's going on in the inside, it's called real Tai Chi, real Qigong. It's full. In the Tai Chi form, from the moment you start to the moment you end, there's always something going on. And it's a continuous thread. One thing just leads into another. But the same is also true in Qigong. So I was just talking about uh, moving between these two points. Well, that's, you know, th that's an explanation. Those are words. Of course, that is what you're doing, but it's not like one, two, one, two. It's much more uh, organic. This is kind of digital. You know, it's analog. Right? So if you don't know, you just come up and you go out and you come up and you go out. Now, you may actually kind of be doing it right, but you're not aware that you're doing it right. So you're not really practicing it. If you know, right, oh, up into the Tanjong, ah, uh, sink into the Ming Lun and then push, then that becomes the practice. And that is the practice, right? So think about this. You can try this yourself. Get, grab, grab your sticks there and try this. Try pushing outward without sinking. Stay up here and push outward. What's it feel like, Jack? It feels like nothing. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's weak. It's very weak. Why is it so weak? Well, if you're moving in this direction, something has to be going backwards. That's just the way the world works. Now, your shoulder blades can be going backwards a little bit, and that will help. But man, it feels weak. Because it's all in the upper body. It's all in this register up here. But if you really want to get some power, you need to engage your hips and your legs. So you drop into the Ming Mun. Huh? Now when you push, how does it feel?
Now, it doesn't matter. You can go high, you can go low, you can go... What matters is you're moving from the Ming Mun in the back of the Dan Shan. <sighs> Boom. It's strong. Now, guys, that is a general principle. You can apply that to every single Tai Chi move and every single Qigong move, which is why we practice slowly. There are many principles, but this is a really important one. You, pr you practice very slowly so that you have time to practice these things, and you don't just go over them like, like you know, skipping a stone over a river. Take your time. Sink. When you are, uh, this is a martial art, when you are called into real action, you will not have time to think about this. So you get it in practice. It's nice and slow and easy. Just do it 10,000 times. And then when you are called in, I, I say it's a martial art, just when you're called by life, when life calls you into a situation where you need that, it's there for you. You just know to do it. Even if you're just lifting a bag of groceries, you don't lift with this, you lift with this and your legs. All right, All right there's my speech for the day. Uh, Jack, go ahead. Okay.
Okay. Um, watch me make a couple moves. I'm going to do three moves uh, out of the 24 form. All right. Well, I'm going to talk for just a second, then we'll finish up with Jill. Uh, I'm just going to do little little bits and pieces of, of some of these moves. Watch. Watch these points. Three of those work exactly the same way. All right, you rise into the center chest, <laughs> drop into the Ming Lun and back. That's what gives it power, not your arms. Um, in the uh, change classic that we do, all right, in your lower back, center chest. Lower back, center chest, lower back. It's, it's really the same move that we're doing with the stick. And those are real obvious ones. But in fact, every move uses some degree of that, sometimes really purely, so it's really obvious, like the ones I just demonstrated. The others are a little trickier. Um, you have to watch for it and discover it. So when we're, when we're doing this one, center chest and the the uh, back way, right? and then <laughs> back into the um, center chest. Um, so in in that case. Rising into the center chest is the power stroke. In the other ones we're talking about, the power stroke is when you're lowering to the Dan Chen. So it, it's, it's like a piston, and it has a function going up and it has a function going down. Does that make sense, Jill? So how do you discover how it all works? Watch yourself. Watch, this is not like some weird um, doctrine from Taoism that says you have to move this way. This is just uh, observation of the way good athletes actually work. So it's not applying something to the human body, it's learning something from the human body. And then once you've learned it, then you cultivate it. All right? Just like a good golf swing. All right, Jill. Okay, here we go. It's all right, Jill. It's just a variation, not a theme. Go for it. Say something so the camera goes on. Okay. Uh, pardon my reversal. <laughs> okay.
So let me leave you with a question. Um, when you go like this, you drop into your Mingman and back. But when you go like this, you're not in your Mingman, you're in your Tanjong. Why? Yeah, since since you're since you're pulling down, this has to come up. Exactly. It's actually exactly the same principle, just implied in a different direction. So if I'm pushing out like that, it's kind of the equivalent of pushing up. Right? So if I pushed up, of course I'm gonna to have to be down to push up, or back to push out, or what about if I pull in like this? Then it has to be in front. Mm. Not in back, because I'm pulling in. Mm. All right? So boom, it has to be in front. If I'm going down, it is going to have to be in front. So it's um, just watch your body. Because your body will, if, if you're trying to do something, like pull a boat, right? or maybe push something, your body will figure out how to do it. Watch it. And after a while you realize, oh, there's, there's kind of a language to this. And you learn that language and then you practice it and become fluent in that inner energy language. That's what Qigong is. That's what Tai Chi is. Okay, guys. All right. We'll pick it up there next week. Have yourselves a good day.